Welcome to Where's Wiseman. We're Matt and Emily. And we are deep in the woods on this camping trip and it just started to rain. On this trip, we set out to find a camp in an area that we were pretty sure would be accessible. Many of our favorite forest roads are still blocked off and impassable due to snow this time of the year. We were familiar with this first campsite and thought it might be an option until we saw what a complete mess it was. That is quite the puddle. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, we've camped here before and we had the uh, trailer and fire basically where the uh, pond is right here. Not a good spot to set up without getting muddy or sitting in the mud. Yeah. And uh, with this being so soft, I don't want to get down in here and tear it up even more like some people have. Uh, it's just not worth it. This needs a few months to dry out. I guess on plan B, find a site that's not a swamp. We continued down the road past a few sites that we could make work if we had to, but were definitely not ideal. We ventured further on this road than we ever had before, almost 20 miles before turning around. We backtracked to a spot we had passed that seemed promising and decided to take it. This is maybe our tightest campsite in the middle of the woods we've ever uh, we've ever stayed at. Yeah, boondocking site, I guess. This is probably the furthest we can get off the road in all the sites we found, but thankfully it's not a busy road. Not a bad spot. Enough room to get a tarp up, a little firing. We are trying to get the trailer leveled and camp set up here quickly. We've got to get the slumberjack up because uh, it's raining. It's been kind of a long drive day trying to find a spot. It's time for lunch. Yeah, and we're... Uh, <laughs> and the mosquitoes are out, little bastards. It's that time of the year. I think the two days we got up into the 70s in town uh, woke them all up. And so we're going to be trying out some uh, mosquito repellent tonight. In March. <laughs> yeah, can't wait to report back on that. All right, let's get this thing set up. Oh, we got a man down in here. Oh, not level. Well, we're not unhooking, but uh, we do need to level it out. So we've done this a couple times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I think we should be fine. We just need to get one corner up. And uh, I think the one corner will level, will level us off perfectly. If you guys haven't checked out these little twist ties, they work great. We'll link them below. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> what is it? Twisted all the way under and around? That's not even mathematically possible. I have no idea how this actually, there's no give. It's like one of those puzzles where you like try to pull two nails apart. To solve. <laughs> yeah, you have to break <laughs> it to solve it. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. Unexpected delay on something very odd. You know what else is weird? Is this hooks on the ring once and hooks on the jack. So this must have come loose off the jack and while we were driving rehooked itself on the ring. <laughs> that is crazy. It looks like uh, it's seen better days. Maybe we just need to get a new one anyway. So that hooks there. Uh, that's weird. Well, 
add that to the uh, to-do list. <laughs> That's probably not good. Huh? Yeah. You have to check that. Add out. that to the list too. Well, we're level, but uh, the galley's a little high. But we had to do what we had to do, just given the site. Uh, it was really hard to find a campsite today, so this is the one that we think was the best of the options and we're just gonna make it work. We're excited to be trying out a new pole with our Slumberjack. We've always wanted just at least one more pole with a rubber tip that we could put up in the center. That way it'll shed the rain, snow, and it won't collect on top, and we don't have to use the A-frame setup. This is a pretty handy pole. We'll link them down in the description, but you can use it as a standard pole, or they have these genius little rubber tips. But uh, first time trying these out, we'll report back in the summer maybe, see how they're holding up. Really easy to use, just a quick twist and a twist. And they telescope. Man, this is, uh, I think, eight feet or something like that. But yeah, easy as that. Slumberjack has this really nice, tough patch in the middle, which is perfect for this setup. Work on our pole dancing, too. <laughs> I made some new fire starters and improved upon the cotton balls wrapped in Vaseline. Thank you to someone that recommended you wrap them in TP so they're not as sticky and easy to handle. So it's just a cotton ball, Vaseline, and toilet paper. So hopefully these work just as good. Love this little guy. Why rub two sticks together when you can just do this? <laughs> We pulled up into camp, mosquitoes started swarming. I'd killed four in like the first five minutes. And ever since we turned on the flex tail, tiny repel, we've seen one. I think uh, so far we're impressed with this. We have both of the repellent patches in there. You can do one or two. Why not? Why would you do straight? one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's on. It's been on for about an hour now. Yeah, big thank you to Flextail. They sent this to us a long time ago. We just haven't had a situation, I, which is remarkable, where we were getting eaten alive by mosquitoes until today. So, uh, so far so good. We'll check in uh, probably tomorrow. Oh. This probably doesn't have batteries in it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> when did you take up. the batteries out? Why would it not have batteries? Why didn't lined up? Well, I didn't want it to like, trip while I was in the camping bin and oh, start a fire. Oh, God.
Oh, it's not a bag of poop? No. Oh, okay. I was like, you want to pick up the bag of poop? <laughs> I think it's a bag for a hammock. Oh, huh, that looks like a nice hammock spot. Yeah, it does. Wanted to say thank you to uh, subscriber James. You know who you are for sending us super awesome Where's Wiseman ornaments and uh, Matt's bear whistle. Yeah. We're gonna call it that. Oh my gosh. Wow, I can't hear. Uh, James, no joke, you were right. That thing is crisp. What? <laughs> <laughs> My ears are so plugged right now. <laughs> Pretty neat. Made these all on his uh, 3D printer. Thanks, James. Shameless plug. We do have stickers. We'll put them in the description below. And if you're curious about any of the gear that we use, you can find it linked on our website, whereiswiseman.com. If you're enjoying the video and aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's free and really helps us grow our channel. As all our long-term subscribers know, we love our gear. I especially love to geek out on that stuff. <laughs> and uh, we got to thinking maybe we should do some gear videos. Like dedicated gear videos, separate from our camping videos. Yeah, we've, we've done them before in the past, kind of a here's 10 things we love. We did them for the first couple years. We might start highlighting individual items or a certain type of item maybe a few different brands like a category of something yeah and so we're thinking about starting a series maybe do like an every Wednesday just a short three to five minute video uh, let us know in the comments if uh, you all would be interested in watching those you of course don't have to you can continue to watch our travel adventure camping videos or just watch those I don't know Wonderful to hear an owl. We've heard owls the last two trips. Oh, there he is. So just doing the dishes here. Our trailer doesn't have a sink. We don't like doing dishes while camping. So we just use a little bit of water and disinfect with heat. And uh, if it's not quite clean, it will be disinfected the next time it gets hot. <laughs> and then yeah, if uh, needed, we take everything home after our trips and wash it. Thanks for doing the dishes. Yeah. I'll do the yeah. plates here in one second. We don't even need to take that home. That's clean. That's ready for the next meal. I feel like this next placement is very important. No, you didn't. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but we did turn the heater on. It's not actually that cold, but... I won. <laughs> she won. And we have a propane tank that just won't <laughs> die, so... You plugged it in, so it must get turned on. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that was a fun day. <sighs> it's, uh... It's raining now. It is raining. You want to tell them what we did with the slumberjack? Yeah, the slumberjack, we just 
we didn't undo anything. We just grabbed the two poles and tucked them underneath and let it lay down on the ground. Mm -hmm. So that way in the morning, if we need it, we have quick shelter. We just pop the poles back up and it's just as it was. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing just being able to take our little cabin anywhere though. Uh, I'm rambling now, so. Yep. We're gonna watch our programs and hit the sack. See you guys in the morning. Wheels up. Thanks for joining us on this trip, and don't forget to subscribe and join us on the next.